Uh, left or right, guys, it can always happen to any one of us. The full weight and power of the most feared agency on earth going after you. See how you'd feel. And knowing what we do now about the IRS, you really want these guys policing your health care soon? Talk about enough to make you sick after this. Well, this just in, the IRS scandal might be putting this whole health care law on life support. That's because the IRS was supposed to be administering much of the plan and policing the funds for that plan. Thousands of agents already hired to do just that, waiting for something to do. Maybe just up in smoke. Charles Payne says he can only hope. But can you imagine the IRS uh, now handling our health care? It's uh, well, listen, it, it is what it is. I mean, we're talking about reports of up to 16 and a half, 17,000 new that's agents. Right. Uh, what, what, what's their job supposed to be? Uh, you know, that's just it. It, it feels like it, pr- it feels pretty vague. I mean, we've got navigators who are going to go around and explain the health care system and, you know, mm-hmm. how to sign up for things. Oh, and by the way, help you register to vote while they're at it. Uh, <laughs> but these agents and, and Neil, here's the thing. I can't think of any agency. I mean, we talk about the czars. We talk about the EPA. There's nothing in D.C., nothing in the federal government as fear that people fear. I don't care who you are, what your religion is, what your political affiliation is. When you hear IRS agent on the phone or you get a letter, oh, that letter, right? the intimidation. I mean, we're talking about Zeus right now. <laughs> this is and, and and this is what maybe small businesses are going to have to deal with. Individuals are going to have to deal with uh, as we implement the uh, health care law. And it feels like there could be an incredible uh, intimidation factor. And ignorance of the law is no defense for violating it. In other words, there are so many rules and regulations to this health care thing that any small business has messed up on any detail, including IRS uh, requirements on how you fund this, who, what benefit you're providing to which right. worker and how many hours. Uh, you're in deep doo-doo. You're in deep doo-doo. And, and listen, I don't want you to get offended, but if I owe $10,000 to Don Corleone and $10,000 to the IRS... The IRS would get the money first. Really? Yeah. Over my people? <laughs> Over right. your uh, people. What if it were an Italian IRS <laughs> agent? Then you're, it's a like conundrum, right? Uh, well, where do you think all of this goes, Charles? I mean, because well, we had laws put in place, you and I can remember, after Watergate to avoid this sort of thing. So obviously, we've circumvented that, whether rogue agents are doing it or they're getting you know, orders on high. So it's still happening. It's still happening. And you know, listen, we'll know a lot more at the end of the week. But I think what we learn is going to be pretty devastating. I think people are going to be in greater shock than they're in right now. And the health care, the implementation of the health care law, at the very least, probably will be slowed down by this because uh, there's a whole been a whole string of things. We know it's more expensive than we thought it would be. But just but remember the centerpiece this. of this is that IRS enforcement part and these agents. Right. And- Remember this. Democrats and Republicans alike aren't going to be running for this. The IRS already has complete access to all of our financial records, and now they're going to have complete access to all of our medical records. I don't know how many people really feel comfortable with that new reality. Yeah, which is why uh, Charles and I found out that all of our medical (laughs) tests have been denied.